Yo, yo. I am satoshi.testaccount.eth and I am today showing you a tool I have made the Broken Sea Listing Repair Tool to fix things that you see here. Do you see content not available when you're on OpenSea? For many different NFTs you might have collected over time, things like that. But yeah, content not available. You can see them here. They show up fine. You can even see in Rainbow, Rainbow Wallet, the app. It does have a website version. This is the same as the app that you see on Apple and iPhone. Here they are showing up, but you see they have a red, you know, image over them here. And why is that? They are using Broken C API here to reference them. So we I fixed a few of them. I've tested the tool out that I've made to, you know, fix this thing. They're working here. They're working in the app, and I'm going to show you how to use it. So let's get started with it. You're going to have to use two things. Here it is. Let's just get started with the link. More info dot eth dot limo l i m o that's more info dot eth dot limo you go to that you hit enter loads up here super fast site ssl encrypted everything's you know seamless in that aspect we need to use the buttons below to build a link to copy and then it can be used to force a refresh of any token that is broken okay it does not work if it's been delisted. That's different. So we need to have the collection's contract address and the NFT token ID. So this is primarily, I've used this for ENS primarily, uh, but this does work on any NFT. You want to get a good quick NFT uh, metadata refresh on forcefully without having to hit that uh, refresh button. More than likely that button usually doesn't work for me. Uh, if you've had different results, great, but I've never really had it to work for me. But this is an example of the final output that you'll see. This is one for an ENS domain that I've already done this to. I'll show you what the final results look like. So when you go to it here, you see it says, uh, get asset 200 OK. This is actually uh, OpenSea's API that we're interacting with. We're telling the application protocol interface, we're telling it, Give me my a asset, show it, and display it. So this is what I did with my hammers.eth, five hammers.eth. I'm fixing their stuff right here. You see? <laughs> but there's the site. This is what you're going to look, and this is what you're going to look for is that 200 OK. That means it's fixed, etc. And I'll show you what that means. So let's get back to it. So this is the site, moreinfo.eth.limo, the tool. We need to have some domains or ENS or NFTs or anything that are quote not available yet or broken even if it's been multiple days is you know they don't show up on their own so let's let's get everything it needs so let's go here let's go to this one on the far right next to the fire truck it says content now available let's open it up go to it here and right here you can see it's just not available you can't tell what it is so let's go to the details of it and this is where you find your contract address and your token ID now let me show you something here. You see how it is kind of shortened on both aspects here and you got to kind of go to it's going to take you to two different links. I'll show you how to find it right here all in one. So let me show you that. So if you look right here, let me show you right here. Once this loads up, you'll see that in your URL here, this is a URL they call it, this link up here, it's actually got all the, really all the data that you need. So you need the contact, the con, contract address of course, and the token ID, that's the two things you need. The contract address, you see it starts with that OX57, well here it is, you know, you see your chains Ethereum, there's the first part of that contract address you need so here it is OX 57 all the way across goes to that first uh, forward slash and there's your first part so you, you got to copy that you know we'll go ahead and, and I'll show you that we'll copy all that and that's your first part that you'll need your contract address and your second is that token ID so your token ID is everything after that first forward slash so let's go back to the link so there's you know your contract address token ID it's right here 
So this is your contract address. All the way to that first forward slash. You don't need to copy the slash, just everything in the middle. So we copy that. We go back to the tool. And here it is. I made a little text art style computer here, right? So you hit contract address. Enter that contract address that we just copied. Paste it in here, the first, that OX57, everything to that slash, okay? So it's built the first part of your link. So let's go back. Let's get the token ID. The token ID it remembers everything after this first or this next slash after you're, you've done the contract address. So copy all this all the way to the very end. So we've got it all copied. Right click it, copy. Go back to the tool, back to the website. Token ID, enter it, hit OK. Here it is. We've made the link. So you hit copy, it's copied it for you. Now here we go. So remember this this is busted it shows. So let's go to that. Let's paste it. So this is the link we just was made for us. 1156 etc was the token ID. You see it here 1156. Here it comes up telling us 200 okay so we were able to get this to accept our request forcefully and knows that we want this metadata to be refreshed. So let's refresh the page. And here it is. So we forcefully re refreshed it, and it's the hands. Looks like the Wu Tang Clan, huh? We got Quad Wu Tang Clan up here. Allegedly, it's not Wu Tang though. You see? <laughs> but yeah, that's how you make it happen. You force force it to refresh at one view. That's me doing this. We made it click. So now we refresh it here. Remember, it was next to the fire truck. Let's do a refresh on it. Scroll down a little bit. There it is. Boom. We fixed it. So now let's refresh. You know, even Rainbow Wallet. And there it is in the Rainbow Wallet now. So we just fixed it really everywhere that accesses API of OpenSea that accesses the content of this NFT. We've now fixed it everywhere. So that's how you do it. And I'm going to do it again real fast just to show off. Okay. So here's another one below. So look, we already know. We already know it's the same. So for speed, if you're doing just ENS, we already know it's, this, it's going to be the same contract address. But it's that OX57 one all the way up to that first slash. Go back to the tool. Contract address, what is it? Paste it. The token ID. Let's go to the next token. The next token is, is a new one. It's a new NFT, right? So copy it. Go back to the tool. Paste it. Copy it. Paste it. And there's another one. And let's do a refresh on it here. See, it's going to take it a second. Do another little refresh. There it is. They got the bearded man, right? You can just do this for anything. You just keep you can keep going. If OpenSea is not doing it, if it's not refreshing for you, you see here it is in the next one. You can just go to it. Do we already know it's the same OX57? This tool just is just going to streamline it in a way for you to just fix it across any collection you got. So here it is. It just you know changed it for me. There we go to another one. Paste it. Here it is. It just fixed another one. Let's refresh it. Refresh it here. Give one more good refresh. Here it is. You see does it every time man <laughs> don't forget it more info dot eth dot limo I will be selling subdomains okay you can get them and I got the dash already so don't ask <laughs> so for custom sites here's my site web portal dot eth see a need solve a need you see I don't have this problem over here on ENS dot vision okay I don't have that problem here but I'm not sure how long this will still work and last but as long as it lasts i'll keep this tool up so hope it helps hope it works well for you enjoy it so here it is i'll show you one more time we refresh we know we fix these three and here they are see we got the guys we got the bearded man we got the hands we do a refresh over here and here they are so open see if you're seeing it you know where to send the check. Testaccount.e. <laughs>